Hello everybody, today I will show you the seal and 30 dark clear. We will start with 31 of course. So this wave is very tanky. These are priests. They have basically a lot of HP. Their skills don't hit as much as the warriors does. I mean not damage wise but the amount of hits they do. So it is pretty easy to keep them CC'd and you never run out of Amenra shields at this point. The problem here is the, of course, the damage you need to do. You need to do a lot of damage in 15 rounds. So that is why we are running Hunter's Cane, splendid. You can see it on Aspen's head here, that is the Hunter's Cane working. And we don't have Unbending Will on Aspen, we are full offensive on him. Like 2 2 2 2 1 enables with crit, crit damage, and holy damage imprints. And there we go, that is the 31 done. 232 billion at damage needed. Next up, we have the 32 wave. Now, this is not tanky at all, like you can kill it pretty fast. The problem here is they hit three enemies with their basics and those three enemies they hit they do three hits each so that means you cannot survive round one unless you split their attacks on all six of your heroes you need a lot of rng for that and then of course you need to still dodge some cc's to be able to kill them in time As you can see, we get CC'd sometimes, that is pretty bad. Especially on the other heroes, like Aspen is fine, he can purify it. We are obviously running unbending on Aspen here, we have to. Otherwise, you will never kind of see round 2 at all. Again, Aspen is backline with Antler's Cane. I believe 2, 2, 4, 2, 1 imprints. I mean, 2, no, the... 2-2-4, two, 2-2 two, two, two imprints, yeah, with unbending will. And there we go. We barely kill it in 20, uh, 15 rounds. 32 is the hardest wave here, I think. It took me like 3 weeks, maybe 4 weeks, I don't know. <laughs> uh, the Like, you need to split their attacks on all 6 heroes, that is one thing. You need to fear the backline first round, that is another thing. Because if you lose a hero when the first two enemies attack, like even if it is carry, the backline enemies will gain energy and then they will use an active round one. So you have no way of clearing it if you don't if you don't do this in round one. Next up we have 33. Now here we are using Aspen in frontline. What we want to do is we want to CC the backline round 1. I mean we are using Antner's Cane anyway so we cannot hit frontline even if we want. And then as you know from 31, the priests in the backline don't do much damage, like many hits, like the warriors. So that is why we are using Ant uh, Aspen in frontline, keeping the warriors CC it, so our team is alive. And then after that it is just damage you need to look for. And we are using Antler's Cane. Enemies only have 2 priests in instead of 4, like in the 31. That is why you don't need as much damage here. But as you can see, it is still pretty close at the end. We don't get to an active at the last round. <laughs> we just kill it with basic. Again, these are... Uh, I believe we are running Unbending Will because of the Warriors. And we are running control, C control immunity, I think. I mean, the control purify, not imprint. Imprints are the same here crit, crit damage, and holy damage, as always. And at last, we are at boss level. Now, this is 34. The problem here is boss hits many times, especially with the follow up attacks. So, you have to kind of kill it round one, which requires just a lot of attack on Aspen. I will show the setup at the end, so don't worry about it. Uh, let's go!
So of course we are using melodic strings to one shot the boss. And as you can see we kill it, we, we CC the front line. They are still feared round 2 so now we have a lot of armor shields. And after this like as long as you one shot the boss, you are pretty good to go. Because you have a lot of extra attack you stole from the boss. You'll just destroy the normal minions pretty easily. And once you kill like one of them as well, you just chain fear them and they can't do anything as you can see. And the fight is over pretty quickly at this point because of the lot of extra attack we have from the boss. Even without like we are not even using Atlas Scan here so <laughs> with melodic strings it's still easy. Hey, let's go! Finally! <laughs> Ooh, sealed and 30 down. So... That took a while. <laughs> I will just show the team now. Um, we are using Aspen, of course, with... 4.4 million attack. I was expecting, like... 4.6 million or something to be honest. I just upgraded like 80,000 attack and suddenly we just one shot the boss. I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, we have the same Aspen as always for the armor giant killer defier, speed attack stone, full resonance gear, splendid melodic strings. I couldn't split one tree here for more attack because I am barely outspeeding the boss at 2240. Then we add full offensive enables, of course, 2 2 2 2 1. And then holy damage, precision, crit damage imprints. Uh, this is level 69, nice. Uh, active is fully sublimated, and we have the basic active. It's, it's not really helping much, but <laughs> since we mostly rely on actives. And yep, we have the skin. Other than that, we have the Dark heroes. Now I don't really wanna like we don't even need to check the setups to be honest. They cannot tank anything unless they have the unbending wealth or the amana shields. So we are using five demon bell radiants. They get they get us hundred energy on every hero every round as long as we don't get CC it. And yep, that's basically it. They are V4 Amenras, three of them, and then V3 carry. V0 carry, non-imprinted, and this is the V3 one, this is the E5. Other than that, what do I need to show? I guess home, I can show you home. Here it is, 2.84 million attack. And then my star spawns, I guess, would help. I got 140 Transcendence, Abyss, and then we have 125 Light, 110 Assassin, a few hundreds, and the rest is whatever. And yep, that's, that is the Dark Seal and Turtle done. <laughs> I am free now, I can finally take my imprints of all the heroes, I mean the Dark heroes, and then imprint my Transcendence heroes. So yep, we will do that very soon. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.